What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. So we're starting out just taking a look at the league table. Uh, right now through five games, we are in 12th place with just one win and three draws so far. Um, but we are scoring a lot of goals, we're actually tied for the league leading goals with 10. Um, and then we just take a quick look through, obviously the Emirates uh, FA Cup is not available yet. The um, uh, Carabao Cup, we got knocked out by Chelsea, I believe it was. We're not in the Champions League, but we do take a quick look at the Europa League standings after just one game. And we are all the way over in, uh, in what group is it? It is Group I? Nope. Group J. All the way in Group J. Um, we are currently sitting in third place, uh, tied for last in the group right now. But uh, I have no no worries that we will uh, start winning games in the group, no problem. So, we uh, we do play Spurs to start the episode, and absolutely nothing happened. This was um, just the end of the game here. Um, one of the best chances of the game, actually, uh, finds the wide man Carrillo with a through ball. Um, but it was a good piece of defending by our left back there. To, uh, to knock him down and grab the ball to safely get us the point against Spurs. Um, even though it's at home, I'm actually happy with that. Spurs are a very good team. In real life, they finished second the last two years in a row. Um, so that's totally fine. So we jump into a Europa League game against uh, Rosenborg BK. And uh, we are looking at the lineup. We're playing mostly starters. We are trying to get some points in this competition. Right now, we do have zero, as we just saw on the table. Um, but again, I, I have plenty of confidence in us to start um, start getting points. And we do pick up one point in this game. Absolutely nothing happened again. So tough start to the episode here. Two nil-nil draws. Um, nothing really to show as far as highlights either. So, uh, so we do get into this Southampton game. And never fear, there are goals galore in this Southampton game. So don't worry about that. Um, here's the lineup. We do select after we pick these uniforms here. Gabby Adini and Sacco featuring there in the lineup. Uh, so Benteke, uh, as always, gets a start up top alongside Mbolo. We bring in Tompkins at the right back. Pulisic's a little tired, so we bring in Townsend and uh, and swap those two. And then we jump right into the game. Uh, Andrew Herrera has been injured. Um, I'm not sure I mentioned that. So Jairo Riedewald has been filling in that defensive midfield role. Um, can't wait to get uh, Herrera back. But that was a great play from Townsend. Got to credit him there. Finding Nkudu, uh, who has swapped sides because Townsend is a left footer. So we put him out on the left. Nkudu right footed out on the right today. Um, and do get a nice goal. And unfortunately, Tompkins gets beat filling in at that right back position. He gets beat. Um, right behind them, and uh, they do end up finishing. And Southampton aren't done yet. Tadic moving through the middle of the field, brings it out wide, back inside to Tadic. Tadic finds the other wide man in Calahone, who just slots it into the goal um, from outside of the box. Actually, a really nice finish there. Uh, and Kudu, again, making things happen out on the right-hand side here, pushes the ball across the middle uh, in a second, find Townsend, and Townsend scores. So those two wingers hooking up again. Um, not that Pulisic is in any danger of... Uh, coming out of the team, but uh, I'm happy to have somebody who can fill in when asked. Again, Townsend linking up, this time with Benteke. Benteke slots it past the goalkeeper, drives it past that low-driven shot, and uh, again, Townsend making things happen, except here he loses the ball. Uh, he's not making good things happen in this in this little stretch. Calahon brings it down the right side, and De Blasis, what a goal. LaFont just looked at it. It was one of those goals that it was like, there's nothing I can do except hope this goes wide. Um, and unfortunately it didn't. So that just earns us another one point in the Premier League. Um, against a team like Southampton, we probably should be beating them. But it is what it is. We'll take the points. Um, and our fourth of five games, this time against Marseille, again in Europa League action. Uh, not much has happened thus far in the game until Marseille is able to bring the ball down the side just before halftime. Big ball in, it comes down, and somehow that's a penalty. It looked like a big swing and a miss to me, but uh, but that's a penalty, so says the ref on uh, Ricardo Rodriguez, our left back, who I've actually been very happy with since bringing in in January. And, uh, and they will take the penalty here. Actually, I believe it's Dimitri Payet. I'm not sure that's a penalty. I'm sorry. I don't think that's a penalty. But uh, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am wrong about that, if you guys think I'm wrong about it. So Dimitri Payet, number 10, steps up against Lafont in goal, who really should be number 1. I'll change his uniform number if I can think of it. And just, there's no saving that. 
Um, that's going by in no matter what. So, uh, and Bolo in the middle of the field beats a couple of guys, finds a clear path to the goal, and slots it past the goalkeeper to tie it up just after the uh, second half starts. And we are at 1-1 on track for another point here in the Europa League, which would be really nice. Because I, I see Marseille as probably the best team in this group, um, and us going through a second Ideally, anyway. Christian Pulisic, a bit of an injury there on the right-hand side, but passes to Tom Davies, who has a yellow card right now. And Mbolo has just been on fire since we brought him in. He has been scoring for fun. Um, another really nice goal there, this time outside of the box. Uh, Tom Davies pumps it up to Benteke. Benteke finds Mbolo, and Mbolo, again, just running at defenders. They're terrified of him. Nice drag back and across his body for a third goal in the 90th minute. We do win 3-1, to one, um, getting past what I think is the toughest uh, team in the group. Not our toughest fixture because that one was at home, um, but we do get the 3-1 to one win and three points in the Europa League. And now here is an absolute thriller against Brighton. I hope you guys have stuck around the episode long enough to watch this video because it is back and forth like nobody's business so um Jimenez up to an 85 by the way he is our highest rated player I believe um but most of our starting lineup is in the uh is in the 80s um you see Deju gets a start there Ahmad Deju um the striker we brought in last January he does get a start so that's nice for him as well and he is able to perform as a matter of fact but Mbolo plays out on the right wing and he still can't stop he scored our last three goals for the club uh, with that one there, this time just slotting it calmly past the keeper. A bolo uh, combining with the math, and uh, and that ball does get cleared, but off the resulting throw in, uh, and bolo making things happen again into a math. Did you nice drag back? And does he hit it? Oh no, he passes it inside to find Benteke, gets an assist in a rare start for him now. But it's a rare start, not because he's playing poorly, but because Benteke and. Um, and Mbolo have just been so good. Um, and despite Levant's heroic dive there, he's not able to save it. So it does become 2-1 to one in this game here against Brighton. And it is absolutely a game we should be winning, despite it being away at the Amex Arena in Brighton. Um, both goals were defensive mistakes there. Both of those first two goals to allow them to tie it up. But... Benteke finds Amath, and Amath back to Benteke. Benteke does a great job holding off his defender, and uh, he's able to find Deju, who does get a goal. So a goal and assist in his return to the to the starting 11. Um, really happy with, uh, with his ability to perform when called upon. That was really nice. Um, but again, actually, that was a nice piece of play from, uh, from Brighton there. Finds the Izquierdo. Um, who does lever that ball into the net. But we're not done. In the 86th minute, we break through as Brighton were searching for a goal because they were playing at home. Um, we just calmly <laughs> to another goal for a math, and, uh, and that'll do it. And that'll do it for the episode as well, so be on the lookout for another one on Thursday. Check out the other videos on the channel. New series debuted over the weekend. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next video.